important terms related with reflection so see if carefully one by one what are the important terms first important term this for each and every reflection we should have one mirror or we have some like regular or diffused surface or either we should have irregular surface either should we should have regular surface so here for the reflection of light here i am using a plane mirror so for the reflection of light this is a plane mirror next we are having the light which is going to uh, strike on a plane mirror from the outside whatever light is going to strike on a plane mirror this light ray is known as incident ray means from outside the light ray which is striking on a plane mirror is a incident ray after striking on a plane mirror the light ray will reflect back or bounce back in a same medium and this bounced back of light is known as reflected ray okay next we are having this the perpendicular distance or the perpendicular drawn at the plane mirror or any surface the perpendicular is drawn that perpendicular is known as normal okay in between incident ray and reflected ray and perpendicular to the plane mirror we are having one ray or we are having one for example imaginary line and this imaginary line is known as normal actually normal is not a ray here in incident ray it is going like this reflected ray going like this but normal is not a ray in normal no this arrow sign is there so normal is just a imaginary line it is not a ray next we are having the angle made between incident ray and normal whatsoever is angle making between incident ray and normal that angle is known as angle of incidence similarly angle making between or angle between reflected ray and normal that angle is known as angle of reflection fine first we are having plane mirror then from the outside whatever ray is coming or striking on a plane mirror is incident ray after striking on a plane mirror it get reflect back that reflected back light ray is known as reflected ray and the perpendicular line drawn on a perpendicular line drawn on a plane mirror is a normal angle between incident ray and normal is angle of incidence and angle made between reflected ray and normal is angle of reflection next we are having laws of reflection it is very important question that what are the laws of reflection okay so here we are having two laws of reflection first law is angle of incidence that you can also write it like this angle i angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection whatever angle is making here that same measure of angle is going to made here also so angle i is equals to angle r this is a first law of reflection second law of reflection we are having incident ray reflected ray and normal at a point of incidence this point where all incident ray reflected ray and normal are going to meet that point is known as point of incidence okay this is known as point of incidence so the incident ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence all lie on same plane means on same plane only means on same plane only only one dimensional only they are happening each and everything so this is the second law incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie on a same plane 